my name is Adriano Costa. I'm 39 years old. I'm an artist based on Sao Paulo, Brazil. I met him in London where he lived for a while. We used to work in the same pub at the Georgian Dragon, uh, serving drinks behind the bar when we were younger immigrants, trying to make ends meet. And we've had a, a friendship and an artistic dialogue since. The way I put the elements on my installations, I think they're very much about painting, about the color, about the space, you know, the elements and what exists between the stuff. And he liked to talk about a work in that moment before it becomes a work, you know, that kind of incompleteness of something that's not yet an installation, or it's not yet a sculpture, you know, so that moment before things uh, become frozen. The fabric and the color is on the floor, it's like dance, it's like jazz, it's trying to understand the forms and the stuff. The work we have in the exhibition is a continuation of an earlier work that he did that won an award at the Video Brasil exhibition. That early work was more about personal items, pieces of cloth scattered or laid down in the ground, making a comment on critical issues, issues of identity, through the message that appeared in the pieces of cloth or the way they were assembled. People say I work with garbage, trash and stuff like that. When I work with a piece of fabric, it's not garbage, it's the material I choose. It's a very precious thing. The work we acquired for the collection could be seen as kind of a next step here. He was already like using a lot of cleaning material and found objects. Like bath towels, they were used by my friends or my family. And I think it's about how to find the magic about them. Adriano works almost as an alchemist, transforming the found objects into, let's say, gold. The title of the work is very revealing also. It's called Oro Viejo, Old Gold. I think the work I'm showing in here, there's something really close to the Brazilian Baroque. Because, you know, we were a colony. When you go to Minas Gerais, for example, a place like four hours and a half from Sao Paulo, and you go see the churches, really Portuguese and some Spanish as well. That's really beautiful, but it's a bit sad, you know. The color of the gold was always used in Latin America like something really related to domination, the power of the gold and things like that. The golden leaf that was used to cover the altars in the churches was one of the motors of colonialism, you know, like how to get the people inside the church and how to colonize them through religion, making them enter the churches where this golden presence uh, was there. You know? But in a way it also relates to um, the creation of this new middle class which hadn't uh, existed in Brazil for a while, their access to uh, the commodities of the first world, not being able to buy all this kind of, let's say, fake gold instruments that one is supposed to have, from uh, flat screen televisions to uh, laundry machines to uh, everything that keeps the economy going. No? Why does Latin America continue to have this kind of uh, almost pendular uh, movements between uh, fantasy booms and a deep economic and, uh, and political crisis? No? So I think in this way, the fragility of Adriano's work also reminds us of the fragility of this world in which we live and work.